Yes, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome to another show. I'm your host, Wesley of Your Chat. Thank you, guys, for joining me this morning. Guys, check this out. This morning, let's go get into some uh, news about Jamaica this morning because check this out, guys. Check this out. News out of Jamaica this morning because this was released, I think, on Friday. So, yes, yes, guys. So, hear this now. Hear this now. The family of Jamaican ska singer Derek Morgan has filed a defamation lawsuit against Morgan's daughter, popular reggae singer Queen Aya Africa, Aya Africa, allegedly reputation damage for allegedly allegations she'd made against him in 2023. And people, check this out now. Do we remember the allegations? Do remember the allegation. Let's get into the show today, guys. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe to the channel, guys. And make sure you leave your comment, guys. Let's go. So Merrick Marvin, the son, Merrick Morgan, the son of the 83-year-old Skia singer, confirmed that they have retained a lawyer, Charles Gang Singh, in Jamaica. The documents was filed on June 12, 2024 in the Supreme Court of Jamaica for damage to the Skia legend reputation. All right, let's continue. We are anxious to have the matter properly ventilated in a court and we look forward to clearing my father considerable good name of those terrible and malicious allegations. Merrick confirm. Hmm. Document on document obtained by the observer online show that Derek Morgan is suing his daughter real name Ventress Morgan for several allegedly defamation statement video and interview made on April excuse me August 1st 2023 the, the different made several defamation statement video wow and participate in several interviews hurling defamation comments about the client, publish such defamation statement, videos and interviews, and made such defamation statements available to the public for posting, reimposing, uh, republication, the document said. Conse consequently, the client has suffered serious injury to, to his character and reputation incur in financial losses and damages in august social media queen i africa revealed that as a child she had entangled relationship with morgan due to issues surrounding her mother due uh what ha uh, however, however excuse me however as an adult she attempted to reconnect with him Queen Aya Frigga described a specific incident with detail at Derek Morgan Kingston Regency. Wow. The singer further alleged that the innocent the, the innocent motivated her to pen to pen one of her hit songs at that time. Derek Morgan dismissed the allegation on Instagram. Queen. I freak you, you are a disgrace to the Morgan family. He wrote in a post, you are a, 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 a wealth of lie. That is why our lawyer are on the case. Wow. So people, check this out now. You know, we all know a lot of things happen in families um, in Jamaica. Not just Jamaica, everywhere in the world, people. Things happen. And um, the only thing that have my antenna going up in the air with this. And we could see that something traumatizing happened to Queen I Africa. Especially where she speak on certain things, how she express herself. And um, I believe it's due to, to, to suffer some type of trauma from what happened in her childhood as she's saying people so my question is this 
or are they going to be an investigation? Because people are suing people for defamation and character. But are there some truth to the story? Because we all know a lot of things happened in Jamaica when we were young, young kids. And um, a lot of kids now coming out and saying certain things. Not just Jamaica, it happened in America too. Where a lot of kids being molested and years and years later they come out and say something because it's affecting them. And um, with Queen Eye Africa, I think this is one of those situations where we know that something happened. And are they going to get to the bottom of it or are they going to have some legal battle in court and not give this lady some type of closure? You know, um, we all know these are allegations, we, you know, but, but people, but we all know where there is smoke, most likely there is a fire. And for her to go on social media and express herself, this is a way of her to cope with it because she cannot cope with it no more. And we have Morick, M- 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 Morick Morgan. You have Derek Morgan. You have Morick Morgan. Morgan, Mor- Mor- Morgan, Morgan is the son of uh, Skia singer Morgan, Derek Morgan. And he's the one behind, you know, I, I, I guess he's the one doing a lot of uh, the motivation behind this lawsuit against his own sister. And the family come out and say, you know, it's it's a disgrace what she's doing to the Morgan family. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. But are they going to take a look at these allegations? Are they going to take a look and do some investigation? Because it seemed to me something went down. Something went down with Queen Africa. And um, she's coming out and saying that the father molested her as a little child, as a little girl. So the Morgan family come out and made a statement and say this. And people check this out now. We know the Morgan family have a lot of influence in Jamaica. Because when you, you know, there's certain name in Jamaica, when you mention them names, they stand for something or the prestige of their name carry weight in Jamaica, especially Morgan. Especially when you say the Morgan family, or you say the Mali family, you carry weight, people. People, A lot of people around the world know those names because those names are household names, especially in reggae music, scam music, rock steady music, or whatever you want to call it. So she come out and made some allegation against her father, and she's saying that the father molested her when she was a girl. And here the family come and say, Queen Afrique, you are a disgrace to the Morgan family. And here we go on again when I speak about names carry certain weight and prestige in Jamaica. So here the Morgan family go out and make a statement and said, you are a disgrace to the Morgan family. To the Morgan family. So they, he's speaking as a whole family, are a disgrace to the family. But my question to the Morgan family is, did anyone in the Morgan family did any type of investigation to find out if these allegations are true or not? If Queen Africa, Queen I Africa is making up these stories or something did happen to her or she's having some memory loss, don't remember, maybe it's not the father, maybe someone else. Because people, she got in detail, she said there was a lot of different inter- people. All I know, something happened to this young lady, to this lady, to Queen I Africa. Something happened to her. Like I said, my my question to the family is, is anyone doing any type of investigation to clarify her story? 
instead of talking about the you disgrace to the modern Morgan family and all these defamation of character and def, uh, you going to court and suing and this and that. What is the purpose of you suing your own daughter? If your daughter come out and say something happened, isn't it, if, if it didn't happen, if it did not happen, this is how I look at it. If it did not happen, as a father, you gonna you gonna you you gonna say, listen, daughter, let's meet. This never happened. What happened to you? Who did this to you? Is it possibility that she's getting her father mixed up with someone else? It's a strong possibility. It's a strong possibility, but she come out very firm and sincere and standing on her word. And people. This is another story how Jamaican people love wickedness than good. And it's the same thing in the vast cartel case, people. How some of these people will dead. They said they were dead for cartel. And this is the mind frame of these people in Jamaica. And that's part of the problem. Jamaican people are so corrupt that they would take wickedness for good and good for wickedness. That's how bad it is. Listen, guys. I, I need you guys to leave your comment. On this one is is queen i africa telling the truth or the morgan family is covering up something that happened in their family and they don't want to be exposed and queen i africa is exposing it and these people are upset and they want her to shut up they don't want her to say anything and they're taking her to court and i'm assuming right now since this case been filed in court since june 12th I don't think no one could really speak about it, about this case, or the family could come out and speak about it or make any type of public, public statement. But I think bloggers, YouTubers could speak about it, you know, uh, voice their opinion. And um, guys, what do you guys think? Leave your comment. Um, it, you know, we will see a lot of things come out in this case. But my question is, again, did anyone... Or is the police doing any investigation to find out if these allegations are true or not? And I pray to God, I hope to God when they go to court, they get some closure to this and some truth would come out, people. Truth could come out so Queen I Africa could get some type of resolvement and healing out of this. Thank you for joining this morning, guys. Make sure you press share, like. And if you like the platform, guys, subscribe. Until later, guys.